Okay, there we are, nicely lit. Oh, that's interesting. Why isn't that doing something? Huh? Oh, there is an invisible piece of glass. Still nothing in the chest, huh? You've still mined absolutely nothing. Wow. Uh, here you go. Here's 64 charcoal. Don't burn it all in one place. Uh-oh. Unloading items. Mine 15 items total. It stopped. It stopped. Why? Why did it stop? Did it run into a jar? Am I going to have to start you over again? That was a lot of fuel, darn it. There's a jar on top of the... <laughs> well, I guess we better take care of that. Oh, gosh. Okay, um... I want to move you down. Okay. Hi. There we go. Okay. We'll just move this whole contraption. Well, actually. There we go. Okay. May as well start you off. Let's do 36. A little smaller range there. Going up to there. Okay. Tada. And now we run over there and attempt to get there before it does. Oops, we flip on the lever too. There we go. Anything in any of these chests? Hey, it did do stuff. It mined charcoal? That's weird. Let's remove the jar from the obelisk. See, here's your problem. You got a jar on top of your obelisk. If you remove the jar from your obelisk, your computer would work fine. I see any other obvious jars around here. I do not. The one over there on that tree. That may have been the one it ran into, but no. Can't have gone far enough to get that one. Ooh, I wonder if there's some on this bit of foliage here. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. Any jars? I don't see any jars. What are you complaining about? What stopped you? Oh, I bet it was that jar over there. That jar is at the right height. It's not in range anymore, but I better get rid of it anyway. So where, where am I going? There. Okay. There's 
the jar. Nothing. In it. Oh, a heart. Well, cool. Yeah, yeah, we're awful close. I bet that was it. That was the jar that did it. Didn't quite cut down enough trees. Leather. There's leather. We can make lots of stuff out of leather, but can we make leather? No, we cannot make leather. There's no way to make leather. Well, I can't think of anything else to do, so I guess it is time for a time-lapse fast-forward vision of the little turtle doing his best. And me looking for deer. And the stars turning slowly overhead. Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll see if there's a passageway inside this giant tree over there. That shouldn't be too far away from the base, such that the turtle forgets what it's doing. Now, of course, the problem with these is that if I were to try and chop it down with an axe, it would chop down the whole tree all at once, or at least a large portion of the tree. So I have to do is work my way inside to the center from the outside by hand. And there we are, inside the tree. It's kind of dark inside here. It's a good thing monsters apparently don't spawn on this kind of wood. Looks like that's as far up as I can go. Fortunately, there are these little ledges halfway down that I can stop at and have a look. Nope, it's just a big hollow tree. Nothing special. Might make a nice base, if you don't mind your base being 3x3. Three three. Okay, now for real this time, time-lapse photography. Uh, our little, little turtle doing the best it can. Admittedly, a, uh, a quarry, <laughs> if I had enough diamonds to make a quarry, would be quicker to start so high up in the air. It wouldn't take so long to get down to where the interesting stuff is. But I don't have enough diamonds for it. And uh, when it comes to breaking like hard blocks like obsidian, the turtle actually does it faster. The new upgraded um, quarry actually takes the same amount of time, at, at full capacity that is, the same amount of time to break the block that you would with a diamond pickaxe. I wonder if it's going to run into those, those jars over there. I should go chop down that tree just in case. So which one is it? It is that one there. Okay. Actually, I can probably just jump off the ladder if I'm careful. And just go straight to it. There we go. Okay. 
May as well start you off. Let's do 36. A little smaller range there. Going up to there. Okay. Tada. And now we run over there and attempt to get there before waiting for fuel. We got some fuel for you. There it is. Return some stuff. What did it return? What do we got here? Nothing yet. Still going through the pipes. Looks like saplings, though. Yes, kind of a few saplings. Cool. Oh. Canopy tree saplings don't burn. Interesting. That's good to know, I guess. Mined charcoal? That's weird. Okay, let's remove the jar from the obelisk. So here's your problem. You got a jar on top of your obelisk. If you remove the jar from your obelisk, your computer would work fine. I see any other obvious jars around here. I do not. The one over there on that tree, that may have been the one it ran into, but no. Can't have gone far enough to get that one. Ooh, I wonder if there's... Some on this bit of foliage here. Hmm. I'll have to check that out. A bit of foliage. Any jars? I don't see any jars. What are you complaining about? What stopped you? Oh, I bet it was that jar over there. That jar is at the right height. It's not in range anymore, but I better get rid of it anyway. So where where am I going? There. Okay. There's the jar. Nothing. In it. Oh, a heart. Well, cool. Yeah, yeah, we're awful close. I bet that was it. That was the jar that did it. Didn't quite cut down enough trees. Leather. There's leather. We can make lots of stuff out of leather, but can we make leather? No, we cannot make leather. No way to make leather. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to take that long, and uh, my tape ran out, so I had to quick grab a new tape and put it in. You didn't miss much. Well, uh, while it was while it was doing the time lapse, I made a list of things to do. Uh, once, uh, once I had switched the tape and I was uh, reasonably certain I wouldn't be interrupted. Um, but I only have two things on it. Make badass sword and harvest crops. So we'll see if I have the materials to make a badass sword. 
There is a Zelda mod in here. There may be some other mods in here that also introduce fancy badass swords. So at the risk of maybe missing the uh, the moment when it breaks through, I think uh, we've got a while for that. I'm going to go harvest my crops and then build a badass sword. Oh, Toshi's up here. I don't know if the kitten's still up here, but if he is, he better watch out. She's making sure she knocks over everything he touched. Just to make sure that everyone knows it's hers. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at all those seeds. And more, even. So, the question is, in any mod pack, how do you find out how to make a badass sword? Well, it's probably going to be made from expensive things. Now, I don't have diamonds, but I'm still going to look up what you can make with diamonds. So, if I right-click on a diamond, tell me things I can make. Pickaxes, armor, things we all knew about, diamond gears, things of that kind, goggles, pipes, well, let's see what we can make out of iron. Iron sword, is that it, really? That's all you can make out of iron? Seventy-five pages of stuff you can make out of iron. What's that? Screw gun? Different kind of iron gear. Well, hmm. Let's try some things that it might be called. A cleaver. Are there any guns in this mod? Just the screw gun. A screw gun and a jelly blob. Gunk. Okay. And gunpowder. That's it. Oh, well. So much for making a badass sword. I'll have to wait until I have more coal to do it with. Let's go ahead and stock these up with a little more fuel, because we're probably going to need it before we're done. There are, I understand, in some of the more recent versions of Buildcraft. Not sure if they're in this yet, but there are, um, I believe, auto-farming things. There are also auto-farming things in forestry, so I've got a couple of options in this mod pack if I want to uh, set up a farm. Um, but uh, for now, I'm not trying to feed a village. I'm just trying to feed me, so I think I'll be all right. Especially if I manage to stay safe. Oh, oh, it's coming to drop stuff off. Maybe it's out of fuel, or maybe it's just full of stuff. We'll see. See when it gets here. Or maybe it ran into a jar that I didn't see. We'll see. Here it comes. Boof. Not enough fuel. Alrighty. Once it has unloaded all its items. Waiting for fuel. Alright, let's give it some fuel. Aha! And all the stuff has gone into the system and is being sorted. Interestingly enough, in this new mod pack, I'm used to all the buildcraft objects being like straight up, down, left, and right. But here you can see they're, they've changed them so they're a little bit in an angle, which means it makes it easier to count them, which is interesting. I like that. So as you can see, all of the uh, dirt is being funneled through the sorting pipe, which tells it to go on red. It's all going into this chest over here, or maybe this chest over here. But regardless, it's not going into the chest where we're keeping all of our luscious, luscious booty. Alrighty, time for more time lapse until it breaks through. Now, of course, the problem with these is that if I were to try and chop it down with an axe, it would chop down the whole tree all at once, or at least a large portion of the tree. So I have to do is work my way inside to the center from the outside by hand. And there we are, inside the tree. Aha! Here it comes! Out of fuel or to drop off more goodies? Or both? Welcome home, turtle. Aha! It is full. 
So just putting everything in the chest and resuming mining. All right, I think it mined some coal. Yes, it did, three coal. <laughs> Did it mine some coal before? There's no coal in there. Okay, so there's three coal. Well, we'll put three coal in the compressor downstairs and get a little more, little more steel. So what have we so far? We have a red deviating lily seed. We have one gravel, and we have a flint. Soon to be added to that, we have a poppy, three sticks, three more flint, <laughs> seven more gravel, and four dandelions. Well, good things come to those who wait. I guess I'm going to be waiting a little longer. Well, looks like that's as far up as I can go. there are these little ledges halfway down that I can stop at and have a look. Nope, it's just a big hollow tree. Nothing special. Might make a nice base if you don't mind your base being 3x3. Three three. Do we have a we have seven poor iron ore. Let's see what that does. I've had it before, but I've never bothered to smelt it because I also had regular iron ore. Poor. Okay, so it looks like there's poor iron ore. Ah, it turns into two iron nuggets. Poor gold ore turns into two gold nuggets, copper ore, tin ore, and lead ore. So there's lead in this mod pack. I haven't even run into regular lead, much less poor lead. Hmm. I wonder what mod pack that's from. They don't have a thermal expansion, and uh, lead, well, they used to have lead in the old Galactic Craft, but I don't think they have it in the new anymore. Okay, now for real this time. Time-lapse photography. Uh, our little... little turtle doing the best it can. Admittedly, it's not out of fuel yet. In charcoal. All right, let's see what we got now. Ooh, we got some amber. We got some more sticks, some actual iron ore, and some aluminum ore. And a dandelions. Cool. Hasn't quite broken through yet, though, has it? Start so high up in the air, it wouldn't take so long to get down to where the interesting stuff is. But I don't have enough diamonds for it. And uh, when it comes to breaking like hard blocks like obsidian, the turtle actually does it faster. The new upgraded um, quarry actually takes the same amount. Well, that's interesting. There seems to be a slightly different color of stuff down there. Hmm. I think I'm going to go down and see what it is. I knew about limestone. That's nothing new. I might want to put some of it in the filter. Hi, turtle. Thank you for doing all this mining. This map doesn't seem to have made the changes uh, in the chunk that I'm actually in, and I don't know if it's because I haven't gone far enough away from it. Oh, hello. You're back. You almost beat me up here. Oh, you, you have not enough fuel. Okay. Let's see if we can fix that. There we go. Plenty of fuel for you. Anything new and interesting? We got some tin ore now. Got some cinnabar, aluminum. Got all kinds of stuff. How are these chests doing? Oh, they're not anything close to full. We don't have to worry about them. Oh, but the filter. Hello, filter. Filter, yes. 
Okay, on the red we also want to send limestone. There you go. Start processing some of this ore. Okay, so what do we got in here? We have got some gravel, some flint, some sticks, aluminum ore, poor iron ore, tin. Let's get this poor iron ore smelting. Turning it into nuggets. Oh, 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 I think it broke through. There's a hole. 